National Bamboo and Rattan Organization in June 2019 organized a workshop and study tour on bamboo value addition and strategic planning for industrialization. This workshop is dedicated to the Global South, especially those countries who produce bamboo resources. And uh, this is for their planners and project implementers to know how to add values to the bamboo resources, especially how to make an industry valid for their economy. Uh, this uh, program we have uh, arranged for government officials and uh, research institutes and also uh, some enterprises who are uh, now considering using bamboo resources for value adding and for economical development. 22 selected delegates from 16 Imba member countries participated in the workshop and study tour. The International Bamboo and Writing Organization is an intergovernmental international organization. So our membership is only open to sovereign states. So far, we have uh, 45 member states coming from Asia, Africa, Latin America, and the Caribbean. Just this much, we have the Republic of Congo become the 45th member state of IMBA. As IMBA is a member country organization, so one of the key uh, objectives of IMBA is to maintain a sound relations with the government of member states. At the meantime, to provide the needed service uh, to the member states for their bamboo and and sector development. Well, we here at IMBAR, we oftentimes talk about the transformative power of bamboo and rattan, but I think oftentimes at the expense or maybe overlooking the transformative power of people. At the end of the day, we need to be talking about those change agents that are actually going to be promoting uh, bamboo and rattan in their respective countries. We arranged the visits to the bamboo forest and uh, study the management uh, practices as well as meetings and discussions with stakeholders like uh, government officials, local government officials and uh, local households and scientists, technicians as well as uh, some enterprises to study the value chain here. Uh, so uh, this program has been uh, a very comprehensive one for the participants to understand the Chinese best practices and development models and how to make it successful and sustainable. So really what I see is the real takeaway or the benefit of a, of a study tour like this to China is that it demonstrates the power of bamboo uh, to those participants, shows what China has been able to do uh, in industrializing bamboo uh, and who the beneficiaries have been. Seeing is believing. We hope that the trip uh, will give uh, participants the ability to do just that, to believe, uh, and then to take it back to their countries to, to really apply that learning and seeing what it's able to for their countries. Durante estos días hemos estado visitando diferentes lugares. Dentro de esos lugares hemos visitado plantaciones de bambú. Para mí ha sido muy importante ver las actividades que ellos realizan de mantenimiento en las plantaciones, además de que es una actividad muy cultural y ellos tienen prácticas ancestrales, que eso es lo que me ha gustado para yo poder replicar cuando regrese a mi país, a Costa Rica. Uh, J'ai constaté uh, comment le bambou peut être associé au tourisme, comment le bambou peut être associé à la culture, comment le bambou peut être associé à l'économie, comment le bambou peut être rencontré presque partout uh, dans l'utilisation uh, de tous les jours des citoyens. Uh, when I came to China, I see a lot of things in different cities. Uh, they have different uh, attitudes in, uh, in uh, bambou. They do a lot of things. I saw a lot of technology and the science of bamboo. So this can help me a lot to, to introduce something in uh, my country uh, so that this can help our people to get something from the products of bamboo so that they can improve their uh, lifestyle. All over the world, especially where I come from, Ghana, forests are depleting and governments have strategies, new strategies of revamping the forest. In Ghana, for instance, uh, we want to use bamboo uh, to replace the depleting woods. This trip has taught me a lot. We also have learned how to make money economically, how to make, help our people to make money from bamboo. When you go to my municipality, Asante Achem South, with Imba, 
we are setting up a bamboo processing a mini factory at Obogu, a community called Obogu. We have started the nursery. Toothpick is something that is well sold in Ghana. That is a, something basic that we can start from. Aside that, uh, furniture, small, small handicraft furniture and petty, petty things that we learn from here. As somebody who is part of the Ghanaian government, I'm going to convince my people there are so many things that we'll be able to do. In the short run, toothpick processing, furniture processing, and then we hope to push the youth into it. And whilst we are solving the environmental challenges, we'll be helping our people, our farmers, to make money.